vast majority of pets and their owners enjoy a lifelong companionship. These treasured creatures give us love, friendship, and sometimes even protection. But no matter how gentle our pets may seem, if they are abused or poorly trained, or if you try to make a pet out of a wild animal, there can be big trouble. Through no fault of their own, they can become a serious threat to their owners and everyone around them. Washington, D.C. An owner has lost control of her pit bulls. They've set their sights on this 13-year-old boy who's trying desperately to get away. The boy runs, but the dogs follow. He hops a fence, narrowly escaping. Police officer Daryl Lee arrives on the scene. Now one of the dogs turns on a helpless seven-year-old child and chases him into the street. Where he barely avoids a passing motorist. The dog's owner reaches out to help, but the boy trips. The vicious animal strikes. With his gun drawn, Officer Lee moves in to protect the boy. The officer grabs the child, but the boy stumbles. The pit bull's powerful jaws snap shut on the boy's leg. The dog refuses to let go of the frightened child. With no other options, the officer is forced to take immediate action. The terrified boy clings to the dog's owner. The pit bull is injured, but still poses a threat. It approaches again. Officer Lee raises his weapon, and the dog backs off. The kid was walking down the street, and the, the dog saw the kid at first. And I was like, oh no, this kid does not know what's going on here. The kid ran around for a minute, and the dog caught him. And the dog grabbed hold of the kid's leg. The dog was just locked on his leg, just like a, like a shark would lock on something. And I punched the dog, and I just kept punching the dog, and the dog would not let go. Officer Lee knew what he had to do. I think people are responsible, you know, more than the dog. These dogs had no respect for their master. A good dog would listen to its owner if called off. Her dogs didn't care about her. They cared about attacking a poor, innocent child. Luckily, the boy suffers only minor injuries. And the only scars he'll carry are the emotional ones of having been the victim of a good pet gone bad. Calgary, Canada. A team of firefighters races to save a drowning dog. But they're the ones who will end up needing help. The dog has fallen into the icy waters of the Bow River. Firefighter Mike Dibley risks his life by jumping onto the treacherous ice to rescue the frightened animal. He reaches out to grab the struggling dog when suddenly... It lunges and bites him in the face. Dibley's partner, Craig Bach, jumps into the water and tries to save the dog. But it panics and tries to bite him, too. After a difficult struggle, the officer is finally able to help the frenzied creature into the boat. Meanwhile, Dibley is in dire need of medical attention. How bad are you hurt, Mike? I'm going to need stitches in my head. Okay. Yeah, the dog got excited and bit one of our guys. Can you get the uh, medics to come uh, meet you at the pump over? Dibley receives multiple stitches for his wounds. I just was shocked. I couldn't believe it happened so quick. Uh, there wasn't time to think, really. It was just, holy cow, he bit me in the face. Animals like humans in times of stress or danger will react differently than they would react under normal circumstances. The dog reacted in violence lashing out, not knowing that we were actually there to help her. Kerrville, Texas. When state troopers pull over a suspected drunk driver, they discover that one of his passengers is a ferocious pit bull. Put your hand behind your back. You're under arrest for driving while intoxicated. After taking the driver into custody, the troopers call for assistance. That we need uh, animal control. We've got a pit bull dog that we're going to have to do something with. The danger escalates when the dog's intoxicated owner gets out of the van and assaults one of the troopers. The pit bull reacts violently when the officers try to restrain his master. Oh, 
Suddenly, the dog charges out the open door and bites one of the troopers. The situation has now become life-threatening for the officers. Probably the dog was just acting territorial, much like a dog in a house. Probably sensed danger outside and just was acting protectively. You know, somebody out here that can take care of a dog before we have to shoot it. Within minutes, animal control arrives on the scene, and the angry pit bull is finally subdued.